ECW just sent me a couple of these comic book showcases to review. So we're gonna do just that and it's coming up. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the comic book showcase from BCW. This is another way to display your comic books on your wall, in your comic book room, however you like. So they sent me a couple copies of these to review. But before we get into it, full disclaimer, they sent me these to review. They didn't tell me I had to like it or give a positive review. So it's all based on my opinion alone. And there will be a link in the description of this video where you can buy these from BCW's website. So, like I said, they were nice enough to send me a couple copies of these for review. And this is basically what it looks like when you take it out of the box. There's not much to it. You got hard clear plastic on the front and you got hard black plastic on the back. It's really simple. There's a little lip that you just flip up off of here. So you got one piece right here and then you got the back piece. So you take the two pieces off and there's a recessed area here on the front where your comic fits into. One thing that I didn't like right off the bat was the recessed area is just big enough for a raw comic. It's not big enough if you wanted to put a bag and board comic, so you're putting it in there completely raw, but it fits in there nicely and the plastic does cover it well. So there is that to it, but I just wish it would fit an actual bag and board comic because I like Bag and board and everything as soon as I get it. And if I wanted to display it, I could display it bag and board. But I also understand why, because you got the clear clear poly bag or mylar bag, and you got bag on top. So it might be an aesthetic reason, but for me personally, I'd like to display a bag and boarded comic. So you just take the book and it fits, like I said, right into the recessed area. And I put it in upside down. I will tell you that the little lip where the plastic connects to, that is the bottom. So I got my comic sitting right in that recessed area, like I said, does fit nicely in there. And then this piece just comes over top of it. There's two grooves up here on the top that these two grooves will go into. And then there's just a little recess on the bottom and it just kind of snaps down like so. And then you have it here like this. And there's a little uh, hook on the back where you can put a nail on the wall thumbtack, whatever you want, and then just hang it on the wall and display your comic book. So very simple, but yet effective. They come in two different sizes, internal recess sizes. Both of these have the same outer dimensions, but they do have two different inner and they come in uh, silver and then they come in current. Now you can get them basic startup is uh, $7.20 on their website, but they also have one that offers UV protection. Now, if it's me, UV protection or not, never, ever, ever display comic books within sunlight. If there's sunlight coming into the room, I'd say don't display them even with the UV protection, unless you're not worried about the comics fading or anything like that. If you're just putting them up there to display and don't worry about the fading, by all means, have at it. But to me, UV protection or not, never display comics in sunlight or they will eventually fade over time. BCW sent me a modern and then a modern UV protected and same with they sent me silver and a silver UV protected. This is another great option, very cheap. If you're looking for something to display comic books on your wall, on my channel, I've done other reviews of other ways to display comics, but I like these just as much as the others as far as quick display, as long as you're not putting it in sunlight. And if you don't mind displaying a raw comic, not bagged or boarded. So it is a very simple product. I like it for the simplicity of it. Only downside is I wish it had an, enough of that recess to display bagged and boarded comics because I'd rather have it bagged and boarded in there rather than worry about the aesthetic of clear plastic on top of a mylar or poly bag. But with that being said, I think this is a great product for the price point. Like I said, um, the regular versions are a little over $7. And then if you want the UV protection, it's a little over $9. And again, links to the to those products will be in the description of this video. So make sure you check those out. Also, if you're actually using these right now, put in the comments, let me know what you guys think about this. Also comment down below if you aren't using these right now, but you think you would use them because I'd love to hear that as well. Thank you once again to BCW for sending me these products. 
I will use these actually and put them up on my wall. But another great use I think for these also is maybe not so much for you if you're a he deep heavy comic collector, but if you have kids and you're buying them type comic books or you want to display comic books, um, I have friends that their kid loves shark themed comic books. So you could put shark themed comics in here and display them on the wall, real simple, real easy and at a low cost point. So there you have it guys, BCW comic book showcase. Also, if you love comic book content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am uploading videos weekly, so make sure you click that bell notification so you always be notified when a new video is posted. This is Brian with Simple Man's Comics, and I'll see you guys on the next review.